we're getting colder for tomorrow. That's some good news. Things are going to drastically decrease today. We got temperatures in those low 90s. It fell easily over the 100 degree marker and we're going to rip that heat away, rip that humidity away. But in the process, we're in some thunderstorms that have been sparking up every once in a while in this Lake of the Ozarks camera. You can see a flash of lightning that's been going on because they're kind of under the gun next of getting that wet weather activity as that front is moving through and hot day to day. But look what that front has been doing to our temperatures. 93, 92, 88. Then we shot all the way down to 77 and that's kind of where we find ourselves right now in Springfield. Not everyone's getting the rain at this moment. I know there's some people worried about severe weather and I want to make it very clear. If you're areas that are off to the west of Highway 65, things are very, very quiet right now. That's going to be how it stays for the majority of the night. It's areas that are off to the east. They're still getting that rain that's going to be coming their way, but even that I'm not really concerned about severe weather. I think most of these thunderstorms are going to pass sub severe. That's what they've been doing for the last couple of hours. So yeah, we can get some hail, but hail sizes are probably going to be about dime size. You can see kind of where some of these hail cores are. There's one that's just to the south of Ava. There's another one up by the lake. It's really the main concern I have is just the amount of rain that has been pouring in and there's been a flash flood warning in place for Webster and Wright County as they have gotten two to three inches of rain in what an hour, hour and a half. And you can also see all the rain that came in earlier today. This bulk of rainfall is what came in kind of last night to early this morning, but most of the rainfall activity is going to continue to move out into the east. I'm not really concerned too much about severe weather chances. That's the good news, but severe weather is happening on the other side of the globe. Look at this guy right here, this little low pressure system that's spinning around yesterday. This was called Tropical Depression 2. Today, yeah, meteorologists gave it a whole lot cooler name. It's called a hurricane barrel, and it's the first hurricane of 2024. Now, this hurricane is expected to hit category three. That is wind speeds of over 120 miles per hour. And as it moves throughout the Caribbean, it's going to be passing to the south of us. I don't think it's going to be really intersecting with the United States, but I want to mention it because it is summertime. I know a lot of people have vacations planned. If you have a tropical getaway, not going to be very good if you're in the path of what's going to be coming and rolling down the way. This is the full list of all the hurricane names for 2024. Take a quick peek. See if you see your name up here. Alberta was not a hurricane. That was a tropical storm that happened a little over a week ago that caused some fatalities over in Mexico. Didn't fully achieve that full hurricane status. Barrel is the first one that we have and Chris and Debbie are going to be the next one on the list. Thunderstorms moving off into the east. I think that's where the majority of rain chances are going to be for tonight. The cold front is flipping the winds, causing the cool down and really kind of ripping that rug of all that heat and humidity out of the way. Let's go back to that future cast and really see the effects it's going to be having. Once that rain moves out to the east, we're going to be in for a very quiet and cool Sunday. Clouds are going to be there in that morning hour on Sunday. We're getting rid of the clouds. We can have some kind of light showers are going to linger really often to the south and northern Arkansas. But generally Sunday is the day that we have been waiting for as temperatures are going to be cooling down a whole lot. Look at those highs. That's highs people. It has been weeks since we have gotten a day this cool. Get out and enjoy it because well, we start the warm up back on Monday. So it's really only one day we get that cool down process. Thankfully on Monday, it's just looking like average for kind of late June, early July, low humidity. It's on Tuesday. Things start to get oppressive with more thunderstorms coming on the back half of the work week. Man, oppressive. But I mean, if it's going to feel like triple digits out there, I'd rather stay inside. Yeah, get the AC rolling. Yeah. It's going to be nice for Sunday. Let's just focus on that. Sunday's yes. a nice day. It's yes. going to feel great. No humidity. Right. Get we'll outside. Work. We'll do worry what you about do. Tuesday when we get there. That's going to well, be a hot we'll day, but like it's not going to happen until it's already on us. I guess it's, it's not tomorrow. You know, it's so not tomorrow's tomorrow. nice. And it's not Monday. And it's not Monday either. So we have time to prepare. We can be in denial for two days. <laughs> <laughs> Stock up on the sunscreen too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, thank you, Matt. Yep. <laughs>